What's going on, squad? Peace and love, peace and love. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the eight o'clock Forex basic class. Um, my name is Isis Love. I'm gonna be your coach here and mentor during this journey. You guys just vibe out for about one minute and 30 seconds. We're gonna be getting started here shortly. Go ahead and, and uh, come on and please state your name and let us know where you are calling from. Hello, this is Jennifer from St. Louis. Jennifer from St. Louis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anybody else on the call? Welcome to the line. Hey, this is Takara in Atlanta. Let's go, Jakar from the ATL, shout it. Welcome to the call, welcome to the call. Anybody else on the line? Hi, this is Simone from Brisbane, Australia. Yes, all the way from Australia. What's going on, Simone? Happy to have you here. Hey, family, this is Jay from Dayton, Ohio. Let's go, Ohio. What's going on, Jay Shell? Happy to have you here. Peace and greetings. Anybody else on the line? Let's go. St. Louis is in the house. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. Going to be getting started here in about 30 seconds. Anybody else want to state their name? I didn't even vote. Hey, how's it going? Teron McAdams, Atlanta, Georgia. Let's go. ATL, man. I, I, man, we got to meet up, yo. We really got to meet up. Yep, I, I know me, but no, we definitely need to. Amazing. We'll get up afterwards, afterwards. All right, you guys, one more last person. Anybody want to share? Aldo Nava from New York. <laughs> let's go, Aldo from the NYC. All right, you guys, let's dive into it. I'm so super excited about this call, you guys. We just call every Monday, not less otherwise you know, post it. Um, I didn't get to, I didn't get to uh, speak, speak, make sure that your camera is powered on. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I didn't get to speak with you guys last um, Monday. So I'm super excited about uh, some of the stuff I want to share today. So we really get, we get on this call to really um, go over, you know, some of the basic things that maybe, you know, going through the academy, maybe you don't understand still. Or uh, maybe you need somebody kind of to break it down to you uh, visual. And that's what we really use this call for. So I hope you guys are like full of questions um, because questions actually, you know, expand your knowledge, you guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions. So before we get started, I really want us to clear our mind, clear our heads, um, and really just forget about everything that happened yesterday, everything that happened today. Everything that happened over the weekend, it is gone. It's done. Right now and right here, it is our time to focus on our future. You know, we're focusing on this now moment, but what we do in this now moment is going to get, is going to affect the results um, of quote unquote the future, you guys. So before we get started, um, if you're driving, definitely I don't want you to close your eyes because I don't want you to crash. But if you're somewhere at the house, I just want us to just take three meditative breaths. Um, so if you're somewhere where you can kind of just get still, get quiet, just for a quick second, just to close your eyes, just to center our mind, um, I would really love for you guys to join in uh, with me. So right now, where you are, I want you to close your eyes. And I just want you to listen to my voice. So right now in this now moment, 
Uh, anything that may have brought you out of your joy is being released from your vortex. Right now, generational, any generational poverty or any, you know, negative thinking around money is just being re uh, released right now from your vortex. Any negative people, places, or situations that no longer serve you, right now it is released from your vortex. Everybody take a deep inhale, holding in your breath, holding in your breath, holding in your breath, exhale, exhaling with a sigh. <sighs> Just exhaling all of that negativity. Inhaling positive love and joy. Just inhaling, you guys. Inhaling, taking all of that inside of your lungs and holding your breath. And just imagining all of your uh, problems melting away from you like butter. Then I want you to exhale it all out. This is our last breath, you guys. Stay focused. Inhale very deep. Taking in that good health, taking in that abundance, taking in that wealth, taking in that prosperous relationships, and everything else is exhale, exhale, <sighs> exhaling from our body like butter. So just take a moment just to sit still, see how your body feels after that, if you did it. And I want you guys to get used to doing this more. Get used to, if you're feeling anxious, or even if you're not feeling anxious, just get used to just stopping what you're doing and just focusing on your breath because a lot of us are not breathing right. And because we're not breathing right, we're not thinking right because the right oxygen is not getting to our brains to have it you know, fully, um, uh, fully functional. So the more you get in the habit of breathing right, the more you're going to be able to retain more information. A lot of times we're also very sleepy is because we're not breathing right. We're using so much energy just to breathe, you guys. So I'm super lit. Uh, before we get into like trading and before we get into questions, you guys, I really want to share with you this practice is um, really a personal development practice that's going to really help you get clear with 2020. Now, I know you guys probably hear the whole mundane thing that you got to write goals, you got to write goals. You guys, you have to write goals down because here's the thing. Um, if you don't have a goal written down, then it's just a dream. You're just talking about it. And who can agree that there's been things that we have talked about but haven't did anything about it? Can anybody honestly be transparent and said that happened to you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, I definitely have. Thank you for being transparent. So one of the ways that we can keep ourselves accountable is to literally write our goals down because this is what happens. We already know from our last Sunday call for you guys that joined is that it starts with an idea. That's all it does is it starts with an idea. So it starts spiritually, and the spiritually is that idea in your mind that you're pulling from the ethers or pulling from the universe or the galaxy or however you want to call it. But once you pull that down, you bring it into this physical world by writing it down. And then you make it, the real activation is after you write it down that you visualize on it. Right. See, we you, we visualize and fantasize about things daily. Think about the things we, we fantasize about that we don't want every day. Maybe it's something in your relationship. Oh, my gosh, I don't want him this to happen. I don't want her to say this. I don't want him to do that. You know, maybe it's something that you're scared that may happen at your job. So you create this whole f fantasy, a clear picture of things that we don't want. You know, but if we can take that same power, that same imagination and flip it around to focus on what it is that we really want to bring into this reality, then that's when the magic starts to happen. I promise you. I promise you guys. So I'm going to... um. Um, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but I also just uh, got into real estate investing. And um, one of the one of the things that um, you know my academy really strives on is goals and having clear goals, right? Because I mean, they want to know who they're working with. So I want to take the, the time to ask you ask you guys to ask yourself these questions. I hope you have pen and paper. Um, so that you can write this down and get clear what, what it is that you want, right? So, you know, money makers and note takers, yes, this will be recorded, but why not write it down if you're somewhere where you're not driving? 
So it's only about eight questions and you don't have to get really deep right now. You can actually write them down and ponder upon them later. But I would really love for you guys to write it down and email it to me and let me see how I can keep you accountable you know, as 2020 approaches, you guys, because that's what Generation 12 is about. It's about community, right? One of our values is community, right? Um, and being able to be there for each other and hold each other accountable. That's how we grow in numbers. So let me go ahead and pull the first one up, you guys. And some of you guys may have never even thought about this. This is why this is a great practice. So the first thing is, what are the five things you value the most. What are five things that you value the most? Really ask yourself that, All right? Really, really get clear. Now you can jot some of them down right now, but um, I really want you to take the time later because it, it, it's gonna take, some of these questions you're gonna have to dig deep. Now the next question is, now, this next question, I don't want you to hold back. I want you to let your imagination extend as far as it needs to extend because, hey, your wish is your command. And anything that you command will come through with a little persistence. So the second question is this, or a statement, should I say. Picture and envision your life, your ideal life. So picture and envision your ideal life. What does it feel like? How does it smell? I'll give you an example. I'll share some of what I put. I'll say it again really quick, though. Picture and envision your ideal life. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Now, before I share mine, I recommend that Leaders, if you're on this phone and you have people that you uh, presently have in this, that you just reach out to your team and make sure that they're on this call. If you see somebody that you know is in Generation 12 that's not on this call right now, let's hold each other accountable and let's hit them up privately or let's go ahead and, and, and communicate in a Generation 12 chat and let's get them on the phone because I believe everybody needs this if they want to succeed in 2020. So let me go ahead and share mine really quick. I said, um, I wake up to the sun and the birds chirping. I hop out of bed, I do my meditation under the sun from a deck overlooking the sea. My chef has amazing fruit and tea waiting for me to eat. I have a private jet that takes me to my business meetings. The smell of tropical air is so refreshing in the new day. I feel amazing to know that I have helped over 30,000 people become financially free. I have sold over a hundred communi community, community, I'm sorry, a commercial and real estate properties. My school, Starseed Academy, is launching its second location in Africa. The feeling of children learning how to live a more holistic life excites me. Knowing that they are getting an education that will help them learn the skill set to set them free is magical. So I'm not going to go all the way too deep. I did just kind of want to show you a little bit about what I mean when I say, what does it feel like? What does it smell like? You have to write it in the tense of as if it already is happening. I want you guys to get wild with this one. Don't hold back. Don't tell yourself, oh no, I can't have a jet. Why can't you? <laughs> Why can't you? This is what you call life scripting. You're scripting your life like somebody would script a movie. You have the same ability, okay? So that's question two. That was my little example. I hope that uh, helped out. Um, now let me move on to number three, you guys, before we get into the trading aspect, okay? What makes this vision of your life really important to you. I'll say it again. What makes this vision of your life really important to you? Basically reverting back to question two, what makes this vision of your life really important to you? It's a two-part question. The next part is, 
Why do you really want to reach this vision? Why do you really want to reach this vision? So this is causing you to go within yourself. Don't be lazy. Some, and not all of y'all are going to do this, and I know it, and it's okay. But for the people who want that genuine change, I encourage you to really get clear and see where you are because it's going to tell you a lot about yourself. It really is, right? So um, I'll say it one more time and we'll go in. So what makes this vision of your life really important to you? And why do you really want to reach this vision? Now, question number four is eight of them. So just hang tight. Envision, no, imagine yourself in the future three years from now. As you look back, what goals and milestones did you already achieve? I'm going to say it again. Imagine yourself in the future, three years from now. As you look back, what goals and milestones did you achieve? So you're going to have to get really clear. You, you should know what your three-year goals are. And if you don't, then you need to get clear to figure out where do you want to be in three years? Because guess what, family? If you don't figure out where you're going to be in three years, if you don't have a game plan, guess where you're going to be? In the same spot. Because <laughs> you don't have a plan. You don't have a play, right? So this is why it's important to get clear. So we always want to speak as if. So you know, write down what would be some goals that you already want to achieve. I will share, um, I need to get my numbers right. I will share, um, I will share uh, one with you. Actually, I, I feel like I need to up my numbers though. I said, um, in three years from now, me and my partner have 23 homes bringing in pa passive cash flow. And we have rehab um, over 33 properties over the three years, right? So it's at, I'm speaking already as it already has happened. That's how you have to start to get ready to speak because wealth is a language, you guys. That's all it really is, right? So that was number four. Number five is, um, okay, how can 4X investing goals assist you in achieving your ideal life vision and why and your why let me say it again so remember you need to have a why to why you're doing forex it has to be deeper than because i just want to be i just want to make money i just want to be financially free i just want to have more time everybody wants that everybody says i says i want financial freedom i want more money but their efforts and their actions speak differently so when you say your why your why has to make you cry your why has to scare you right? It has to scare you. Your why needs to be, look, I'm willing to sacrifice sleep to get in this academy to learn this so I can help my mama pay off her house, so I can help my mother retire, so I can teach my kids about financial literacy. I don't know what it is, but it has to be stronger than money. Because think about how many things you do for money and you quit before. Think about how many things that you started and stopped started and stopped and you tried this and you tried this and you tried that and you tried that what makes this different what is your why right so really think about that so let me say the question again so it says how can forex investing the goals that you set assist you in achieving your idea life's vision and your why so how can forex right? Assist you with achieving your ideal life vision and your why. Okay. So really get clear with that. Number six is what strengths can you draw on to achieve your goal? What strengths can you draw on to achieve your goal? What are you naturally good at? Now, some of you guys are probably thinking, I don't have any strengths. 
I'm not good at anything. And I'm telling you to give yourself some more credit. You're going to have to raise your self-worth because how you see yourself is how other people probably see you too because it's the type of energy you're getting off of. So we all have a strength. Mine is my ability to communicate and network with people. That's my strength. I feel like I'm very, very great with talking and communicating and networking. That's something that I do naturally. It's not something I had to practice or anything. I'm just a freaking talker. And that can be beneficial when it comes to business. So I want you to figure out what it is that you can do. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe um, you know how to do logos. Maybe you know how to do websites. Maybe you know how to motivate people. I don't know. <laughs> it's something you have to figure out, okay? So number seven. Um, what habits do you need to establish or improve to reach your goals? What habits do you need to establish or improve to reach your goals? Now, you got to get clear, right? You got to get clear. Some of you guys are not used to having a schedule, being your own boss, but doing this. One of my big pet peeves is being organized and planning. You got to be organized and planning. So what are some things right now, some healthy habits that you need to establish? Or what are some things you need to approve to get you to your goal? Do you need to cut back on TV? Do you need to exercise more? Do you need to stop smoking cigarettes and drinking and partying? What habits do you need to establish? Because guess what? Success is going to, is and I won't even say success because that's so limited. Like success can be anything. But if you want to get to your goals, you guys, you have to create healthy habits. You cannot get to your goals doing the same thing you've been doing. Because let's just think about it. You haven't went anywhere with those old habits. So start to create, cultivate healthier habits. Get up in the, in the new day and have a morning routine. Some of us go straight to our cell phones. We go straight to the cell phone. No, right? We have to establish time with God, with you, right? Whatever your God, whoever your God is, you pray to. You have to have that time with you and the God within you. All right. So last question is, what is your top priority goal to achieve in the next 90 days? In the next 90 days, what is your top priority goal to achieve in the next 90 days? Everybody should at least have a 90 day goal. Your 90 day goal may be to get a free membership. Your 90 day goal may be to make $500 a day or a week or a month. Your, your goal may be to, to bring in residual income of $1,000 a month residually. My 90-day game plan is to be able to help um, three new people um, hit $1,000 a month residual, right? At least three to five, to be honest. So... I got I want you guys to really get clear with this 90 day like your priorities. That's really what it comes down to because we'll make time for TV, we'll make time for Facebook, we'll make time to go to the bar, we'll make time for all of these things that don't bring us back some type of asset. So I want you guys to get clear, take the time. If you don't have all the questions because you came on here late. I suggest you be on time, <laughs> but maybe somebody will be so kind enough that came on here on time to share with you uh, the first bit of questions. And um, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the email address in the comment bar or somebody that knows the generation 12 email address. If y'all could put that in the chat bar so everybody can have that. Now you guys, now that we're clear, we know our, we know how we need to move forward with 2020. Let's get into some trading, y'all. Let's get into some trading. Um, I'm going to open it up for questions and answers, but before I do that, let me just share my screen. Um, boom, there we go. And before I do that, this is for my new traders. Um, hold on. 
Let me go here. This is for my new traders. So if you guys didn't know, we have a system in place. Now we know system save is to save yourself time, energy, and money. So what me and some of the leaders have done is created a system to help you guys follow so that you know what's next when it comes to Forex. Now we just had a new wave of uh, traders. Shout out to Jay Shell. Um, I think Simone, um, Jasmine, Tequila. Um, I'm not really sure who else, but if I forgot your name, shout out to you um, for joining in. You guys are a new wave, and this is something I want you guys to really focus on. Now, phase one, you should already be done with. Your mentor, which is uh, Love Key, who does an amazing job, should, uh, you should already had your welcome call with her, and she taught you how to at least place a trade in your, um, your account. Phase two is for you guys to already knock out. Now, we have some go-getters. Some of y'all knock this all out in less than a week. I, 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 this is just a general outline, just a general one. So phase two is to do the basic academy, which I know some of you guys, Simone, J. Shell, you guys have finished this academy, right? So your next step is that you, sh you guys should be watching Christopher Derrick, right? Like every day, invest in like an hour or two hours if you can into some recordings. If you can watch it live, that's even better. But watch this so that you can start to mark up the charts, right? So let's, let's talk about that really quick. And if you guys are some veterans, just hang tight, be patient um, as we walk them through um, where they can find the Christopher Derrick at. And like I said, we'll open it up for questions. This call is normally an hour and a half to two hours, depending on um, what needs to be put out. Tonight, we have an amazing call with David Amantier at 10 o'clock. I highly recommend you get on there. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, why so many motivational calls? Why so many mindset calls? Because money is a mindset. And if you're hanging around negative people already that don't bring you any value, you have to submerge yourself into this positive energy. You have to. You have to binge, like, be obsessive with wanting to change your mindset right so check this out you guys everybody should be logging in through the i am dot center if it's your first time logging in you know you type in the i and the letter m and then the word powerful right and then they're going to prompt you to change your password but you could just make it back to what you already had it the first time and then you're going to go to go live right? Everybody should be here at this point. If you're finished with the academy and you're probably like, what's next? What's next? What's next is our strategy price trap, you guys. And this is our mentor, Christopher Derrick. You go under 4X Advance, right? And you look for Christopher Derrick. He's the first educator. Now, some of you guys are on different time zones. If you're able to get up at two o'clock in the morning and watch him live, more power to you. Let me tell you, I'd be knocked out. So I watched the recordings. That's all up to you, right? I'll just watch the recordings the next day. So you would click on his picture, right? And then um, you'll go down. This is for anybody that didn't know. And just watching, one thing I want you guys to know is trading is patience. OMG, the biggest lesson you're ever going to learn. Because think about it. When some of you guys went to your job for the first time, do you think that you knew everything about your job? Was you like, oh, my gosh, I'm about to quit this job in a month. I don't get it all. No, you patient with that job. Some of y'all get a job three, five, and six to 12 years. So I'm saying give this some time. Because once you get it, money will no longer be a concern especially when you know when to grow it, okay? So be patient and kind with yourself. Too many times we're beating ourselves up. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting it, I'm losing. That's part of the journey. Part of the journey is losing trades. Blow that whole account up until you learn. That's the whole part of the demo. So don't rush to get in your live account if your demo is looking like boo-boo. Like straight up, if your demo is looking like loss, 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 why are you rushing to get in your live account? 
And then when you start losing money in your live account, you're going to be like, it don't work. It's a scam. Nobody tried to help me. No, you was greedy and thought this was a get rich quick scheme and you gave up on yourself. Don't blame it on us, right? So this is just real life stuff that happens every day. So I'm really speaking from experience, you guys. So check this out. Right here, you can go and watch all his videos. This binge watch. Act like it's an episode of Power. Act like it's an episode of The Walking Dead. Act like it's an episode of the, the basketball highlights, of football highlights y'all watch. I don't know. Get creative. But binge watch this, guys. So after you watch how the strategy works, that's when you go over here to Trading View. And this is when we mark up our strategy. So before we go any further about marking up the strategy and watching some videos. I just want to take the time to open it up for any type of questions, comments, or concerns. All right, don't get quiet on me, guys. I know somebody got some questions, comments, concerns. Somebody got some trading questions. Okay, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yep. Okay, sorry, my unmute button was like frozen for a second. Um, okay, so my question is first, was there a specific um, broker we were supposed to select when we start live trading? Um, no, there's not a certain one. We just kind of say which one we use, but mm -hmm. um, a rule of thumb is another thing you could do is, you, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, like if y'all go to the Haman Scanner, because I see sometimes people will be like, what are some other brokers? And the magic about this is that we could go straight to the Harmonic Scanner, and if we look on the side, there's some brokers. You know, FX Choice, XM, different ones, and then we could take and do our own due diligence and research to see which one works for us. But no, to answer your question. Okay, thank you. And then I have another question. So um, when I look at my harmonic scanner um, and then I look at my app, um, I'm still trying to understand, um, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to start for my, um, my TP. Um, it will give me a different number on my harmonic scanner than it does on the app. So do I go with what the harmonic scanner is telling me or do I just basically try to like, um, average it out great question great question so what you're simply doing is this how i tell people so imagine me and you in math class right now right and it's like five <laughs> questions and i wrote the answers down and i slid the paper to you at that point the only thing you have to do is just copy what's on my paper to yours right yes so see the harmonic scanner is um as a as the cheat sheet as the one you're copying and then your metatrader four is where you're inputting the answers at so you're not looking for the quote unquote answers on the metatrader four you're just looking to uh place those numbers in there so let me show you as an example is there anybody willing to share their or are you uh just are you able to are you on your cell phone um looking at this um, I'm actually doing both. So I'm on my cell phone and on my laptop. Okay. Are you able to share your screen? Um, I mean like, so you're on zoom on your cell phone, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So if you tap down, cause I want to show you as I walk you through, let me stop sharing. If you tap down on your screen, you're going to see some things that pop up that may so like mute, share camera, invite it should say something like share share content right yep and then you want to okay. share your screen okay well that's not sharing okay hold on one second it's all good it's your first time right Yes. Oh, that's all good. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, it should. When you hit share content, what else pops up? Does it say like screen or anything like that? Okay, so yeah, so it says screen um, and everything. So I'm clicking on screen now. Okay. And then that shows up? Nope. All right, it's all good. Is there anybody really quick that knows how to do it, able to share their screen so we can walk her through this? Yeah, the more major for that. God, no yours is. I think uh, Key's about to hop on and share her screen really quick so we can show you. Great question. So as I wait for um key to pull it up, um, but basically whenever uh, whenever you're looking at the harmonic scanner, you're gonna see tape tape profit one, two, and three. And what we encourage people to do is that when you're first starting off, you just need to get in your demo and take at least ten trades every night. So taking the so putting in the numbers on TP one, two, and three is what we're focusing on. So let me see if she was able to do it. Hold on. Okay, she's doing it right now. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, huh? Meg. Uh, just go to any um, just go to any pair. Well, matter of fact, now nah, I'll give you a pair. Uh, we're gonna go to um, USDJPY. All right, Jay Shell. So check this out. So imagine we're looking at the harmonic scanner. So are you on your harmonic scanner right now? Hello? Yeah, you can, yeah. Okay, cool. So find the uh USD JPY on the 15 minute chart. And then once you do that, this is the numbers that we'll put in. Now, can somebody come off mute and tell me which line do I put my take profit at? You put the take profit on the uh, green line. And what goes in that red line? That's going to be your stop loss. Yep, yep. Now, Key has some amazing flashcards that will help you remember these small little things until the repetition in your mind can keep up with it. Therefore, when you're not in front of your academy, you'll still have the flashcards to look at to remember some of this terminology. Now, what she's going to put in the TP, J. Shell, and anybody else mm -hmm. who was wanting to know, is she's going to put her first TP. So you'll look at your harmonic scanner. And on G USD JPY on a 15 minute chart, it says the take profit is 108.79936, if you can fit all that in there. And then the stop loss, because they always give you the stop loss, is that 108.72957. Now, Jay Shell, let me ask you something. Is this a buy or a sell? Let me um zoom in into this a little more because I can't see half of this stuff. Okay, and try to turn it to the side, maybe. Does anybody have the harmonic scanner out looking at the USD JPY? Can tell me if it's a buy or a sell?
Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a uh, buy. And why is it going to be a buy? Because right now it's showing that it's going to go into a uh, bullish trend or go upwards. And a good rule of thumb to remember that is because when the TP, when the take profit is above the entry, y'all write this down. This is a nugget for my new people. When the take profit is above the entry, we know it's a buy because we want the market to go up towards the money. If the take profit was below the entry, which we're going to show one of those once I get control of my screen again, we know it's a sell because therefore we want the market to go down. So in this instance, Jay Shell, let me go back to my um Zoom. She already put the number in on huh? Buy it's a buy. All she's gonna do is hit buy. So you see, she didn't take any numbers from her MetaTrader four. She just simply copied what was on the Hamana scanner into the cell phone. Does that make sense? Yes. So what we recommend amazing, amazing. So what we recommend is let's do another one, Key. What we recommend is you do 10 trades a night. So basically, in this instance, take profit one, two, and three hasn't even been hit yet. So what we're gonna do is we'll enter this same trade in our phone at least two more times that's going to give us three trades already so let me go ahead and give you the other take profit and if y'all got y'all demo if y'all got y'all demo out y'all could do this too the next take profit is 108.82801 bye we're going to use the same stop loss 108.72975 and then we'll do that third, the third take profit. Let me know when you're ready. The third take profit is 108.875 with a stop loss of 108.72975. So that's a buy. So basically that's already three out of 10. So only thing she really got to do is find nine pairs to put the take profit one, two, and three in there, and then actually four pairs. One will, you know, one of them, three of them, you'll come in to take profit three times, and that last one, you could just enter once. So all the things she did is just simply went into her phone and entered in to take profit one, to take profit two, and take profit three. And the only thing that means is basically, hey, the market is liable to come up here based off of past results. The market is looking like it's going to come up to this point, to this point, and that point. So take profit just simply means, hey, you could take your money here, there, and there. Um, but that was a great question. I'm ready for more. Um, wait, well, before you stop, you already stopped sharing? No, it's all good. It's all good. All right, you guys, any other questions, uh, Jay Shell? No, I don't have any other questions. I think I just need to visually see it um, explained in a different way for me to be able to understand it better. Got you. So now that I'm sharing my screen, so you seen visually what she put in her cell phone, right? Yes. Okay. So these were the numbers we were talking about. So take profit is always going to be on that green line. It's only two numbers you're entering in, really. It take profit, which is in your cell phone, you're going to put along that green line. And then your stop loss, mm -hmm. which is the numbers right here. So when I had her enter it in her cell phone, I had her hit new trade. She put in a take profit. She put in a stop loss. She hit buy, right? Then she came in again, same pair. Mm -hmm. She put that take profit in. She put the same stop loss in and she hit buy. Then she came in the same trade again, meaning you can come in more than once. So all she's doing is re-entering again. She re-entered for another order with the with the third take profit, which is right here, 108.882. And then mm -hmm. she put that stop loss in. So that's what I mean by it's a cheat sheet that you're just literally looking at and copying the answers into the MetaTrader 4.
Got it. Okay. Thank you. You welcome. You welcome. And the more you get you, that's and that's why we express to do it every night, at least 10, 10 trades, because what this also does is it builds confidence. It builds confidence in you seeing like, oh, okay, like, wow, this is not as hard as I thought it was. Um, wow, this thing really can give you some money. So when you start going live, you'll have more confidence. Your fingers are going to be trained. You're not going to be confused on, well, where does this number go? Where does this number go? Because you didn't practice so much. So I, I definitely, um, um, I definitely, definitely hope everybody does that um, so that can happen. And this looks like it's about to hit stop loss. Okay, does anybody have – sheesh, I know. <laughs> and, and one more other thing, and that's for Wednesday call. Wednesday is the harmonic scanner call, but I will say this. Like, this candle right here is the D candle. We wouldn't even want to get into this trade until we see another candle forming. So this is a 15-minute chart. So every 15 minutes, a candle is born, <laughs> no matter the size. That one took 15 minutes. That one took 15 minutes. That one took – they all took 15 minutes. So what time is it right now? So basically at 9 o'clock, a new candle is going to be formed, right? And that's what we call your entry candle. And you just want to make sure that that entry candle has passed through this green line. And don't worry. On Wednesday, like I said, one of our amazing leaders is going to teach you more about this harmonic scanner. But I did just want you guys to know that, you know, phase two is about placing 10 trades in your demo every night, looking at Christopher uh, Derrick so you can learn our strategy, and then joining on these calls so the strategies can start to make more sense for you. Does anybody have any other questions? I see something in the chat bar. Let me see. Uh, Anybody have any other questions? I can't. Let me see. Uh, somebody wrote something. I can't see it. I see the thing about the mute button. Maybe that was it. Oh, it's like 17 people in here. I know somebody got some questions. Don't hold back, y'all. Simone, did you have any questions? Um, I did have one just with the... Christopher Derek videos do you recommend that we watch like all of them like I've started like I think it's from his 2018 uh hold on let videos. me see. which which one Simone so I've started watching his videos from 2018 I think it's December I started like right from scratch oh wow that's pretty impressive. <laughs> um, Only because I get I got confused, like which ones to watch. No, it's all good. To be to be honest, Christopher Derrick's uh, strategy really is the same repetitive thing. Granted, in some videos he may add like you know some other jewels, but um, I would I would say in your development, I would probably watch a little bit of the newer ones now. But I would go okay. into I would go into the applying mode because we can watch things all day, but until we actually get on this trading view, which I'm gonna remark it up, once we get on this trading view and we start to mark it up, then it starts to become more practical. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Is was that in was that all? Uh, yeah, that was literally my only question Amazing. I can think of right now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Always got the uh, community chat, chat just in case. Anybody else have any Thank other you. questions? You're welcome. Anybody else have any other questions? No such thing as a dumb question. Isis, this is Clarissa. What's going on, Clarissa? Well... I'm not very good at setting goals. I've never really done that. I know they're necessary and I should be doing that. But do you use like, how do you even think about the different areas of your life where you should have goals? Like, um, you know, there's like nutrition and like lifestyle and like time management and those kind of things. But like, is there like things that you think about that you build goals around? Um, I'm just curious. Whoa, that is an amazing question. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. That's great. So, yes. Yeah, so what I kind of do 
And I could probably send you like a template and I'm pretty sure your amazing mentor wouldn't mind doing like a one-on-one to get you, help you with your goals. But I definitely do like use like a template. Um, I don't think it's on this computer, but I'll just give you like a rough draft. So I will take topics like you just said. So I'll pick like, you know, relationship goal. Um, I'll have health, like health and nutritious goal. I have a business goal, a personal goal. So yes, I will have like categories of areas. And that's why it goes back to like your values. Like what are your values? So, you know, one of my core values is, is my family. So, and I know that, for example, I would love for my family to, um, I would love to set up a retreat for my family, a, a weekend retreat where I'm able to teach them about financial literacy, like help them with their credit, help them build their credit. So like, that's like a family goal for me. Um, a relationship goal may be, um, for me and my partner to, stop working on that on certain day and go out and have some fun or something like that. A health goal may be, and the, and the, and the, and the thing is, is not to be hard on yourself, like, and to wing yourself off slowly. That's why if anybody's interested in having like a health and nutritious type of like switch lifestyle, you definitely should get up with love key because she's awesome. She's a, um, a health lifestyle coach. So instead of making you go on like a diet, um, she just helps you create a lifestyle change versus putting so much pressure on you. So your goal, Clarissa, I'm just using an example. Maybe it's like, hey, you know, my goal is to um, go to the gym two times a week or walk in the park two times a week or cut back on, I don't know, red meat. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, you can kind of just put like two to three goals under that category and um, I would start really small. I would start with like a 90 day goal and which is, you know, three months and um, at least having a 90 day, a six month and a 12 month goal, at least start in there. So basically, for example, let's just say you, I'm making up something again. Let's just say your your for your health goal. Your health goal was to cut back on red meat because your 12 month goal was to lose 60 pounds. So it's kind of like you're doing small, small milestones to get to that bigger 12 minute goal. Does that make sense, Clarissa? Of course it does. You always make sense. <laughs> we just think different and I like to get your opinion about things. Um, it helps me grow my opinion. Amazing, amazing. And two and two other things. Your mentor just suggested Jim Rohn. And then also I have a gift for you guys. I forgot. If everybody sends me their email in our Generation 12 chat, I'm going to send you a book by Brian Tracy called Goals. And he's going to go over a great outline about even how you even start your goals. So I'll send that out as a free PDF for you guys. Just make sure in the Generation uh, chat group, uh, Generation Twelve chat group, that you let, leave your email, and I'll get you guys that book. But definitely, Clarissa, I'll say get your outline started, get up with your mentor, and if anybody needs any help, what we probably could do is so we won't have so many one on ones. Is probably just do a whole another. We could do the whole Sunday call just geared towards being intimate. And really, you know, writing these goals out together, if that's what you guys want to do. And we'll probably put a poll in the group, in the Generation 12 chat group, to see how many yeses we have and we could proceed for it. But I think that would be a great start, Clarissa, to check that book out, get your categories together. And um, uh, Key is going to drop some Gen Rome videos in the chat for us you guys but that was an amazing question i love that and i didn't forget about you clarissa um i still definitely um uh need to cash app you it's been a long journey going to st louis <laughs> it wore me out <laughs> i realize you are a very busy lady <laughs> <laughs> amazing 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 all right you guys that was an amazing question anybody else have any questions Oh, shout out to Aldo. Aldo has his ticket to London. Let's go. Y'all <laughs> drop some 11-11s in the chat for, for Aldo. He took the step. 
he already secured his ticket, his plane ticket to London, and that's that biggest part, getting that ticket to London. So definitely shout out to Aldo for doing that. Um, my goal is to be able to help. Um, I want to, you know, help a, a couple people to be able to, um, you know, help with their I am mastery London ticket. Your job is to get the plane ticket, and we can see what we can do. Um, we can see what we can do with uh, helping out with the um, with the you said with the I am mastery ticket, right? So there are going to be some qualifications and stuff for that. But if you want to know about that, definitely hop on it. You definitely have to be coachable. I told Aldo, I said, just trust me, get a ticket. I'm gonna help you the rest of the way. And before I know it, within 48 hours, I think Aldo had already brought his ticket. So that's what I mean by like just being coachable and just just like trusting in yourself. So uh, I did want to shout him out for doing that. Um, anybody else have any other questions? All right, family. So we'll open it back up for questions. I kind of want to get into some training. We're going to watch. Um, we're definitely going to watch a training video. But before we watch a training video, I just kind of want to um, look at some charts for the week. Um, wait, somebody said something else in the chat bar. Oh, I still congratulate. Okay, cool. So, um, so if anybody doesn't know, this is Trading View, and this is what traders use to analyze the market, right? So see this as being a spot where we're kind of, yeah, we're analyzing the market. It's like being a scientist in the lab, you know, watching, um, watching where this market is going. So, so for some of you guys that's already been watching Christopher Derrick, um, you're gonna, it's gonna start to make some sense. And if it doesn't, don't worry. You're gonna eventually, it's gonna make more and more sense. So we're, we always mark up on the hour. Right. If you're writing notes, definitely write this down. We always mark up on the hour, the hour chart, you guys. Right. And so this is what the market currently is right now. Let me blow this up for you guys. This is where the market is currently at. Right here where I'm rubbing. Right. That means right now in one minute and 32 seconds, this candle is going to be done for me because each candle represents an hour. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our ceiling and our floor. What I love about this strategy, you guys, is we're teaching you advanced off the bat. We're teaching you how to trade naked with no trading wheel. So not really like butt naked, right? But like naked meaning no indicators, meaning we don't really need confirmation. We are the confirmation. So a lot of times you may see other people's strategy and they got, all of these different things and their charts and this and that and this and that and it just looks like freaking confusion i want to make this so simple for you guys that you could turn around and teach your uh, kids so that's why i'm so excited that christopher derrick has came up with the strategy by all means i did not create this strategy all right so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going we're gonna to create our ceiling first now, what type of line, can somebody tell me what type of line I'm looking for to create our ceiling? The uh, horizontal line. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna put my horizontal line here. Then I'm gonna get another one. Cause right now we're building a ceiling. This is what I want y'all to imagine. Imagine we on the roof, we're getting the roof together. Now that my roof's together, uh, T, what am I going to do now? Now that I got like the foundation, what's missing on my roof? Oh, uh, you're also going to put a, uh, what's, what's the shape called? A rectangle yes. <laughs> within the uh, ceiling? Yes, yes. And the easy terminology that we use so that even a fifth grader can understand it is, imagine this. Imagine it's a roof and right now it doesn't have any ceilings on it. It doesn't have any concrete. If it was the rain, the rain would, it would rain on our heads, right? So, like he said, we want to go right over here. Originally, it's a paintbrush. And if you don't know how to work this, don't worry. There's a whole nine-minute video in your academy giving you a tutorial on how to use this. You just have to go back and watch it. So, we're going to go here. We're going to go get a rectangle, a.k.a. our cement, right? And we're gonna seal up this uh we're gonna seal up this roof because we don't want it to rain. 
and we get all soaking wet. So we're going to seal that up, right? Okay, so give me one second. Stretch that across. All right. So now that we have our ceiling, now we're going to look for our floor, you guys, right? That's all we're creating is a ceiling and a floor. And I'm going to tell you why I placed it here and how you're going to find out where you should place it, okay? So give me a second. So we're going to put our floor on here. And what I'm doing is I'm placing this horizontal line kind of like on the body. Now, I don't want you guys to get too analytical, too cerebral, and overthink this, right? It, it took me and Key Love, we were really, like, going hard on this strategy, like, watching Christopher Derrick, marketing the charts. And what we noticed is that we were being too heady. We are being too cerebral. We were overthinking something so simple. So I'm here to tell you guys that don't stress yourself about the lines. I'm going to teach you a nice way to figure out if you're still in your floor is positioned right, okay? So I just simply placed it right there, right, and I placed the other one. Now we gotta we gotta seal this up, right? Because we don't want nobody to fall through the floor. So we come over here, we get our rectangle. Boom. Part one of our trading trade is our, of our strategy is done. This is price trap. This is how it looks in a nutshell. This is it. You come up here because what we're doing is we're setting up a trap. Now I want you to imagine this. Me and you on a fishing trip. You got a fishing pole. I got a fishing net. Who's going to catch, catch more fish, right? So what we're doing is we're creating a trap for price to come to us. We don't want to chase money. Anything that you chase is going to keep running away from you. What we're doing is we're making smart money moves and we're trapping the money, right? So let's go on to the next step. So after we have trap price, and I'll let you know why I place these lines here in a second. What are we waiting for next? Can anybody else tell me what we're waiting for? You're waiting for uh, the you market to go either up or down or sideways. That's it. That's all, you guys. This market is only going to do three things. That's all it could do in our trap. Write this down. Either we're waiting for this market because we're waiting for it. This is a patient game. This is going to teach you patience because maybe this move might not happen for two days. And you have to be okay with that because we're making a smart money move. So this market is either going to bust up uh, on our roof. And once it busts up on our roof, we want it to pull back, a.k.a. retrace. And then, boom, we want it to shoot up. Now, let me break that. I'm going to break that down. Don't worry. And you can learn more about this from Christopher Derrick. So just give me one second. Lock that up. So it's either going to break up or it's going to stay in here. Look at this area where price is just staying in between our ceiling and our floor. Right, so it's either gonna break up above, uh, stay in the middle, or it's gonna break our floor, retest back to the area it broke out of, and then we'll be ready to enter in for a sale. Right now, don't get freaky. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Right, so now that we got our ceiling and our floor, remember we can only do three things: break up, break down and it will be ready to get in for a buy. And I'm going to show you an example of one that already happened, and I'm going to get a little deeper so it makes sense. Now, we're waiting for, after we mark up on the hour, we're waiting for the true break and retest to happen on a 15-minute chart. On a 15-minute chart. We're waiting for it to really happen on the 15. So after I mark it up, I go to the 15-minute chart, and I just kind of have it up. See, look at this. It's trapped, right? It's trapped. So I keep it on here, and I'll just wait, right? Now, you can set an alarm, right? Even if you got to go to the store, you can mark this up in your cell phone and still have your alarms going where you just kind of pick up your phone. Just look at it. Just glance because we pick up our phone anyways to text on social media. So we have enough time to just pick up the phone and see where the market is, right? So we wait for the break, the retest, in the trade on the 15-minute chart. 
Now let's let's look at how that looks practical. And I still will get back to where to place the line. So let's go back to this. Let's look at this practical. This is Gold Cup. I would suggest everybody buy this. Where do you buy it? Let me show you. It's additional to your um it's additional to your membership, but it's going to literally be teaching you. Oh, this is the TV. It's literally gonna be um Basically, it's going to, what I just set up, gold cup right here, they already got it set up for you. So let me go to price trap. This is what I mean. And this is for the people who are still learning or the people on the go. All right, so let me see. So if you look at this, Christopher Derrick on all of his live sessions, uh, he already marks it up. So he already gives us the take profit. And he already gives us a stop loss. So only thing you got to do is just log in to your gold cup. Let's just say you ain't have no time to mark it up. Well, guess what? He already did it for you. Remember, he's the maker of this strategy. Heck yeah, I'll copy off his, his cheat sheet. So this is just like the harmonic scanner. Except the harmonic scanner is free with your membership. Gold cup, you have to pay a little bit more. But it's well worth it. I think the investment's 20 or $30. But guess what? If you come in the market with a uh, dollar a pip, that's thirty dollars already on, on one day. It already paid itself back. So um, you can find that. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I want to throw y'all off. So if we look at this, right? This is one that already happened. This is what I want y'all. This is the break, the retest, and the trade. Okay. So let me erase all this. Now you guys see we got the ceiling, we got the floor. Price is in the middle, it's trapped, it's trapped, it's trapped, it's trapped, it's trapped. It finally busted out or this candle right here. I think this is what it marked it up at. So right here. Do y'all see how this green candle busted through this ceiling? If you don't see it, say ISIS, I don't get it, I don't see it. And I'll break it down even further. Please let me know. This candle right here that I'm rubbing. So I'm taking it. Everybody sees it. So even if you would have got in on this candle, because this broke too, right? But the whole point I want you guys to see is look at how the candle broke through. Let's look at this one for a second. Look at how the candle broke through. It came back down to retest the area it broke through. We would have got in on this green candle. We would have got in right here. We would have already been up 20 pips. Now, let's just say you didn't get in on this candle, but you got on this candle. It's the same thing, depending on when you, how you marked it up. It's the same thing. It broke through. It retest. We would have got in right here. Let me make it smaller and I'm gonna let you know what retest mean for all of my new people. All right. So we even would have just got in right here on the top of this on this green candle. It already went up 30 pips. 30 pips is right there. Hold on. Uh, what that oh, let me make this dark. Make it purple. You're not going you may not get it right here and there, and it's okay. You just gotta keep watching the strategy. So what is a pullback, Isis? This is a pullback. This is the, I wish I could show y'all my camera tripping. A pullback is this. You the green candle. You walking down your hallway at your house. You walking. You walking. You walking. You like, wait a minute. What's that back there? You turn back around and you start going backwards, the opposite way in your hallway. Right? And then you're like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> and then you decide to keep walking forward again down the hallway. That's how I can put it. A pullback or a retracement is something where the market is going in one direction and then it shifts a little bit down before it goes back to its original uh, uh, direction. So you see the market was going up. It dropped down a little bit, a.k.a. retest, right? Trade, we would have got in right here on this blue or this greenish candle, and we would have put this number right here where I got my horizontal line, this purple line, if y'all look right here on my right, it says 
482, that would have been our take profit. Our stop loss, and I'm going to get to some questions, our stop loss would have been the same thing, 30 pip stop lock down. So we're starting right here on this green candle. We'll take our measuring stick, which is right here. We'll start right where we were going to start, and we'll go back 30. So hold on, let me um scrunch this up. Let me scrunch it up. Let me count back 30. So if I started on this green candle, I counted back 30. This is my my stop loss is all the way down yonder. <laughs> it didn't even touch it. It didn't even pinch it. Right? It didn't even go down there. You wouldn't even, you would have cashed out right here. This would have been your um take profit number, right? Let me change the color to green and down here would have been your stop loss right that's it so once again i'll break it down again break meaning is breaking from the ceiling retest meaning you want these candles these these red candles to retest back to the area it broke out it broke out from the ceiling so we want this to come back down to the ceiling and then once we start to see this green candle form, we could have we could have went on and took our measuring stick and was like, let me go ahead and measure 30 pips up and put that number into your cell phone. Now let me open it up for questions for anybody. If that did not make sense, I will find my best way to break it down another way. It's okay if it doesn't make sense, you guys. Just let me know. All right, so we'll do another one. Same thing. He marked it up. We got our ceiling. We got our floor. We're waiting. The price is in the middle. It's in the middle. It's in the middle. It's in the trap. It's in the trap. It's in the trap. Whoop, we got some action. We got some action. What did it do, you guys? Did it break through the top or the bottom? Let me call on somebody. Hey, Simone, did it break through the top or the bottom? Did it break through the ceiling or did it break through the floor? Um, through the floor. Okay. And can you agree that this red one broke through the floor? Yes. Okay. And could you agree that this green one came back to retest the previous area it broke out of? Yes. Okay. So right here on this candle, what would you would have did? This red candle right here that I'm rubbing. um wait for it to break out and then sell yes so confirmation number one wait for the breakthrough it did it confirmation number two you want to see a retest that's the green candle it did it it went back to retest confirmation number three is get in the trade because we already got our break we are got our retest and our last thing is trade meaning get in the trade simone so when you would have seen this red candle forming, Simone, you would have took your measuring stick. You would have said, okay, let me measure, because it, it's a sale. You was like, let me measure 30 pips. Boom. Your 30 pips would have been right here, Simone. Boom. I'm going to make it I'm gonna make it green. You would have went on and put that in your Mediterranean 4, right? And then you want to get your stop loss. So what you would do is, same red candle that you're entering in, you want to go back. For your stop loss and remember you guys your stop loss is basically saying hey if the price if the market doesn't go down like you want it to ideally we wanted it to go down to hit these numbers but if it didn't and it started to go up what that stop loss does is it saves us from blowing our account we're only going to be losing maybe three to five dollars depending on you know your lots and how much you got in your account and all that good stuff but if y'all look at it look at how many pips we could have secured we would have hit our 30 already for sure right but if we would have just came back in or we would have twin traded you guys that's the potential 204 pips this strategy is very powerful but it takes you marking up the chart it takes you being patient Let's look at another one, and then I'll open it back up for questions. 
And then I want to see some of you guys. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, cool. So, I want somebody to tell me. Let me pick on somebody. Jay Shell, are you there? I'm here. Amazing. Now, if you're looking at this example right here, did the, did the chart finally break out the top or the bottom? The bottom. Okay, so let me see what else we got here. Now, can you honestly say that this red candle was the one that first broke through our floor? Yes. Okay, you see how that whole body went through? We don't want the wick to go through. Let me show y'all what a wick is. This is a wick, these lines. We don't want the wick just to pass through. We want that whole body, which it did, this little piece. Now, Jay Shell, would you say that it broke through and then it came back up and retest back to this area? Yes. Okay. Now, would you honestly go ahead and get in the trade right here for that sale? No. Now, why wouldn't you? Um, um, so within the block, um, I will probably do the not the next one but probably the one afterwards so you'll probably do this one that i'm rubbing right here yeah amazing amazing so it didn't matter if you would so to answer your question you could have got on this one but if you wanted to be safer and waited till it went back to that zone then yes but either or if, if, it, if somebody would have went on and jumped in they wouldn't have been wrong if you would have waited you wouldn't have been wrong either but let's see if we would have took we would have took our money. You guys, thirty pips is already like right there. Like, look how much it had to move. It barely had to move for you to make money. The, this candle barely had to move, and we would have already cashed out. So, um, I want you guys to see the power of this price trap. Now, it's going to take some time. But the faster you can just mark up these charts, the faster you can watch Christopher Derrick, the quicker that you're going to get it. We had a nice wave. Shout out to Clarissa, um, David, Ray, Jen, um, Terrell. I mean, I'm sorry, Terrell, my bad. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I can't think of the top of my head right now. So many people have been joining up. Nico, I can't really think if I forgot some people, but. We just had a nice wave of people that really understood this strategy quick because they applied it. So for my next wave, um, that's all you guys have to do is just literally mark this up. Does anybody have any questions? So we want to make sure that we do not trade off of the wick, correct? Right. Yes, we wanted to bust through like body. <clears throat> right. And even after it at, you know, well, I guess from the first and then the retest, you know, ideally trade off of the body. Yeah, ideally it should be fall like it should, for example, like right here. It broke, the whole thing came up. So ideally, yes, you want that body of the candle. You want it to come back and test the area it originally broke out of right there and we're, and we're waiting for that break and that retest to happen on the 15 minute chart and this is another thing you guys this is all market execution this is not buy stop sell stop i'm not sure um if somebody got confused i've seen a couple people doing buy stop sell stop this is not a buy sell sell i mean buy stop sell stop this is a when your move happens you get into the market it's very important that we be coachable and do it exactly like how Christopher Derrick does it because he is the maker of the strategy. So obviously we want to follow the steps because he's the one getting the results and then turning around and showing us. So no buy stops, sell stops, market execution. Great question. Any other questions? Yes. Okay. So, um, Say we're looking at that and we're waiting for it to hit when um, the market part starts. Um, I know we're doing an example right now where we're seeing like the beginning of the wave, like on the left side. But do we um, look at everything on the right side, like the very last candle? Great question. Let me see if I can. 
So using this, for example, so, okay, can you say it one more time? Okay, so you see how marked up on the left side? Like we have that hallway that's inside the um, ceiling and floor, yeah. Uh -huh. So when we're looking at that and say we're going to put it in our, our app or whatever, um, do we look all the way to the right side of the very, very last green candle um, that's outside of the ceiling and floor? That's a like all question. the way to the right, like at the end of the screen. Like right here? Yeah. Good question. So when you first look at this, this is not even going to exist because this has already played out. So let's, this is what you'll probably be looking at. You're going to look at it, look at it before the move happens. So you'll be looking at it. You'll be looking at it. You'll set your alarm. And then you'll be like, oh, my gosh, it broke through. So you see that happen. You'll set your alarm again. This is the next candle. You like okay, there goes that retest. Then the next candle comes. You like yes, that's that sale candle. Let me get in. So you're not gonna look to the right because nothing is happening yet. Because you know what I'm saying you can see it now because this is old. This move has already happened. This breakout, this first breakout happened December 19th. So all these. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's I was like, wait a second. Okay, got it. Thank you. That's a good question, though. Thank you for that question. Somebody else probably want to know. Just like right now, J. Shell, it's, it's boxed in. So there's nothing to the right because we're here now. Right. Okay, got it. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Great question. Anybody else have any other questions? Yeah. Um, is there any way we could get trading view alerts to send to our phone because you know I, i'm i'm not at my computer you know during the day at night time it's usually when i'm on it so is there any way we could get alerts to go to our phone yes you could do it the freeway or you could do it the payway so let's talk about the freeway the freeway is literally setting an alarm on your phone just to take a peek at the market now if you want to get precise and you like look i want trading view to let me know where when it's like hitting this line yeah you could do that that's not with the pay that's with the pay trading view so it's not with the free trading view but how you would do it is i think you can have you can set an alert but like you just said with the free one it's going to alert you on your computer but when you pay for it they're going to send you a text they can send you a text message and they'll send you an email so you would just like click here this will pop up and say add alert for that pair um uh something's supposed to pop up. Hold on. It was it, but I think it's because I got I got the free account. It's not showing me. But but it's very self-explanatory. If you're gonna pay for the free one, you would I don't think it's letting me do it because I already got two of them on there and it's the free one. But you would basically just click the area you want to get the alert, you'll hit this plus button. And you'll go to add alert and then a box will come up. See, it's not letting me do it because it says I already have, you know, too many. Um, but a box will come up and then you'll just set where you want it, what number you want it to alert you at. So if you wanted it to alert you, um, you know what I'm saying, like right here when it's about to bust through, yes, you could do that. I think it's $20 or $30 or something like that. So um, it's up to you. Like I said, you can... If you're out and about, let's just say you're looking at three charts. Mark those three charts up on MetaTrader 4 or TradingView. And, you know, like I said, when you set your alarm for like an hour or something like that, you're just taking a peek. You're just like, oh, my gosh, this is still in a trap. Or, oh, my gosh, it's almost about to break up. Break the line. So those are some options. Oh, you got a trading view. Thank app. you. Oh, yeah. I do appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, and then you can get the trade and view app too. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any questions? Yep. Somebody else said download the app. Yep. All right, you guys. So um, let's just mark up a couple. It's about 30 minutes till. Um, I wanted to watch a video, but we went a little deep. So we're just going to simply mark up a couple. If you can think of any other questions while we're on here, 
definitely do open your mouth so we can get those questions knocked out or for you. And then also we can have somebody, if, if it is a brave soul that wants to share their screen that hasn't and that if they're like going to be the first time, we can uh, walk you through that. Let me go ahead and put that in the group. Woo, chat bar is popping. That's one. All right. And another little life hack that I do that I learned from Ray is um, all the pairs that you're going to trade, you could just add them on the side over here so you don't have to have across like all these different tabs. I just, you know, shuffle through them like this. Oh, I didn't get to tell you all about the lines. So check this out, you guys. Here's an example. This is old. I got to remark it up. I mark my remark them up every time they make the move. So check this out. This is a 15 minute chart. Open it up. There goes the break. Look at how it broke through. It broke through our ceiling. Right? This green candle. There goes the retest. Retest, 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 retest. As soon as I would have seen that little cute green candle forming, I would have went on and measured to see, to predict where 30 pips is. Because remember, nothing to the right is happening yet. I don't know what's happening to the right. I only know what's happening right here on this green candle. So, boom, my 30 pips would have been right there where that white line is, meaning I would have put this number right here where this white line is in my cell phone. Look, I would have cashed out. You know what I'm saying? So, this strategy, y'all, it works. You just got to do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remark this up because we already did it. Now, let's talk about really quick, where, how do you know if your lines are right? So basically, the only thing we're doing is we are setting these lines in good support and resistance zones. If you don't know what support and resistance is, don't worry. Continue to watch the academy. It's all going to make sense. All right, so let me mark this up real quick and, and show y'all how to identify if you put the, the lines on right. Give me one second. What a day. Very successful day. All right, let me finish. Let me color this in real quick. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop it in the chat bar. Might have a question, comment, concern. Get somebody off mute. All right, so. What I do is, when I got my ceiling on floor, a lot of times people want to know what ice is. Did I put it up there right? How it look? Do it look right? This is how you find out. So remember, support and resistance is where the market has been supported and where the market has resisted before, right? So what I do is I mark up on the hour. Remember, we're always marking up on the hour. But what I do is I just I go to the four hour, and I want to look back in the past, and I want to see how price has acted on these levels. I want to see if it struggled to pass through my ceiling and my floor in the past. So the best way I can describe the different time frames is like this. I don't know, we got different age groups on here, but y'all know those flip books where like on the edge of a book, you can draw like a comment, a comment or like a person, you'll draw like their head and maybe their arm. On the next page, you'll draw like, their head, an arm, and another arm. And then on the next page, you draw like their leg and they're both, if you guys are getting what I'm saying. And every time you flip through the book, it looks like that person is walking. So that's the best way I can describe these different time frames that you see up here when I'm shuffling through minute chart, three minute chart, five minute chart. Basically, it's horrible see as, basically see it as um smaller bits of the market that's happening to get to the whole, 
that makes sense. So I go on the four minute chart because I want to, because I mean, four hour chart, because each candle represents four hours, no matter what size it is, it took four hours to be born. So I get to see a lot more up front versus continue to go back and back. So anyway, let's look. So we go on the past and you don't have to go far in the past. I'm just going to pick a point and I'm going to stop. Okay, I'll probably do it right here. All right. And this is all the way back in October. So we look back in the past. This is my floor. Look at how the past, these candles struggled to break through. Right? It struggled. It tried to break through. It couldn't. It came up. It tried to break through. It couldn't. This is just letting me know that this is a strong area where the market has trouble breaking through. So look, it came up, it struggled to break through. Now this floor is really a ceiling to these candles. What are you talking about, Isis? I'm telling you that this floor that we made in the present, in the past, was a ceiling to these candles. This is what I mean. Now imagine this is you walking. Boom, you're hitting your head on the ceiling. You're hitting the head on your ceiling. You go back down. You go back up, you hit your head on the ceiling. You go back down, you finally break up. You finally break up. Now the ceiling becomes a floor. That's what that means when I said that. Meaning now you're on top of this, and now the ceiling is supporting you as a floor. That's why support and resistance is really the same thing. So look, it's in the trap, it's in the trap. It bust through a little bit, but then it came back down in the trap in the trap. It tried to break through, but it came back in there. So needless to say, what am I looking for? I'm looking for price, which is candle. When I say price, I mean these candles. I'm looking for these candles, a.k.a. price. I'm looking for areas where they struggle or consolidate it. If you look at this, this trap means consolidation. This means that the market is consolidating. It's not really, it's not really going up it ain't really going down it's just it's like uh, it's getting stuck right you see it it's consolidate right or it'll break through but it doesn't stay through for a long time so you can always know if your areas are marked up right by back testing and going back in the future and seeing how price reacted off of these areas before right now at, at as time as you get more knowledgeable that's going to make a lot more sense than what it did when I just said it. You guys, it took me a while to figure out support and resistance. And then when I finally did, I was like, oh, that's not even that hard. But right now, our brain is really trying to make it hard, right? So don't worry. No pressure. You're going to understand this. I promise you, if you keep showing up to these calls, because half of the battle is showing up, you guys. I think 20 people were on this call. We probably have about 100 people on this team. So needless to say, half of the battle was showing up. So continue to show up, and you will continue to see results. If you don't show up, you're not going to get the results, okay? It's just easy as that. So um, I'll go ahead and drop this one in the group. I'll drop one more, and then I'll reopen it back up for questions and answers. And if we don't have anything else, you guys, um, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. We trade together. If anybody didn't know that, um, definitely make sure that you put the schedule in your planner. Right? That's how you know when the calls are happening because you're staying organized. So let's do one more, and then we'll open it up. And then I feel like we went over a lot. All right, let's look at another pair. Let's switch it up. Go to GBG. All right, so this is when I marked up last week. So I'm slowly, I'm just gonna uh, readjust some things. I'm just gonna delete it and redo it. So an hour, a lot of stuff going on here. Lots. All right, let me see. 
Alright, that's what I'm feeling with that. See, it looks like it's slightly different. Sheesh. Alright, what up? Alright. It's just so much going on, I'm trying to like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to check the four hour to get a clear announcement. All these wits. Oof. Let me see. Hmm. Stay awake is what? But we obviously can see that price does come through here, struggles and passes through. Let's just do for a clear with that area. All right. So uh, what I did is it was a little wicky for me. So like I said, I just went to the four-hour chart to get a, a clear vid, a clear picture. Then I just went straight back to the hour chart to finish marking this up. Now the longer in the trap, the better, because it just means that it's like winding up. It's ready to just like to shoot off like a rocket. It's just it's just been in the trap so long. Kind of like when you restrict your kids in the house and they finally get out the house and they just get wild. <laughs> they was in the house too long. So, yeah. So let me go ahead and put this one in the group. I don't give you the, the take profit and the stop loss because I want you to get used to being able to measure from the entry to figure out what your stop loss is. And plus, we may come in in two different times. So, all I'm basically putting on here, and what you could do is just copy what I did. Go to Trading View, get the horizontal line, right? Look, when I put this in a group, post the horizontal line anywhere, and then go read what I did. So, you can post the horizontal line anywhere, look at, copy off my numbers, put this number. You like go here, you go to settings, you go to coordinate, and then you'll just copy what I did. You'll just put that number in there, and then what it will do, let's just for a giggle. Let's see. 5582. Boom. Y'all see how it just went back there? So if you want to do yours exactly like mine, all you have to do is place a horizontal line anywhere. Go to this is gonna pop up right here, this little thing you see. Go to the circle. Put in the coordinates, and it's going to look exactly like what I did. All right, you guys, does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Take advantage of the free membership. It's a no-brainer. Anybody, any questions, comments, concerns? All right, you guys. Ooh, look at this one right here, y'all. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. That was the ceiling. That was the floor. It broke. Oh, this is that question that he was asking. So for me, I think somebody said, do you want the wick to touch it? Even if the wick touches it, I'm good with it. It broke. It retests. Let me look at the 15. Look at that. It broke. It retests. We trade it. Does anybody do not see that? It broke through the floor. It retest back up, meaning it pulled back. We would have entered in on that red candle, which is right there. We would have said, hmm, let me measure down 30 pips. 30 pips would have been right there. We would have cashed out. This number would have been it would have been inside your take profit, the green line and your MetaTrader 4. <laughs> Boom, we would have cashed out. I missed that move, though. But that's all right. Don't get upset when you miss moves because this market is always giving out money. So I'm going to do one more because I'm super excited to have it. And we said at the trades because of uh, the holiday. 
So I'm just taking advantage of this right now. Let me see. And if you do have any other questions, you guys, just definitely put it in the group. Uh, either me or, you know, somebody else will answer any questions. Really quick announcements, you guys. We're going to London February 28th till 29th. Um, I'll drop the Eventbrite link. You definitely want to come to the event because events change lives. Um, you definitely, you don't want to miss the event, you guys. You just, you just don't. We have two other events happening in Atlanta. One um, is February 7th, I think, through the 8th. And then we have the Run to Play event, which is next month, the 17th. So definitely take advantage of the events. If you got to drive down or fly down, definitely do it so you can meet other traders and get that hands-on experience, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in a group. I love you guys. I will catch you guys at the beach, the bank, and tomorrow's New York session. Any other questions, drop it in the group. And let's get ready for David and Mitae's uh, call at 10 o'clock, you guys. Peace and love.